Hot Doodle Help Managing User Accounts Hot Doodle allows you to manage all the user accounts registered on your website. You can also create different groups that users can join and then set different groups to have permission to access certain parts of your site. This tutorial will cover managing users. To learn how to manage group accounts and how to set access and permissions, you can watch our other tutorial videos by moving your mouse over the help icon in the control bar and clicking other videos. Now let's manage the site's user accounts. So move your mouse over the site icon and click manage user accounts. Remember, you can only do this if you are the owner or administrator of your site. Immediately, you'll see a list of all the users that have registered on this website. Because I created this website, the word owner is displayed next to my username. If you have many users on your website and need to find a specific one, you can check these filters and click filter. Here you can hide administrators, hide non-administrators, hide users that have not supplied an email address, display users that have not supplied an email address, hide users that have chosen to disable emails, and display users that have chosen to disable emails. You can search for any user on your website by typing in a part of their username and clicking search. Lastly, you can list all users alphabetically by username, first name, last name, or email address by clicking on any one of these categories. Let's click New User Account to add another user to this website. This is helpful when you want to create a login ID for a client so they don't have to do it themselves. Enter an email address for this user. Next, select a password for this user. If you leave it blank, then this user will not have a password and can simply log in by entering their username and clicking Login. Enter their first and last name, Jennifer Grant. Enter the desired username. I'll type Jennifer123. Remember, this is not an email address but a login ID. However, a user can log in using either their username or their email address. Next, select whether or not this user will be an administrator. An administrator will have full control over the website, just like you do as the owner. You can ban this user from posting messages on bulletin boards and sending messages to users by checking Banned. You can choose whether or not other users can see this person's email address from this drop-down menu. Here you can select emails to be received in HTML or plain text formatting. You can choose whether messages sent to this user from any groups it is in are discarded and not received, get sent only to the user's personal inbox on this website, get sent to this user's email address, or sent both to the on-site inbox as well as the email address. These same options are available for subscriptions to bulletin boards where posted messages can get sent to the user's email address or site inbox, or both. Click Save to save this user account. The on-site inbox displays any messages the user receives. This can be accessed by clicking on My Info or My Account on a login block, and then clicking View Inbox. You'll see that Jennifer123 has now been added to the list of user accounts on the site. You can edit the user's settings at any time by clicking Edit. You can also manage which groups this user is a part of by clicking Groups. You can make the user a member of any of these groups by checking Is Member, or make them a Group Administrator by checking Group Admin. A Group Administrator can manage all user accounts within the group they are the administrator for. Of course, as the administrator for your entire site, you can administrate all groups. If a user has requested to join this group, his or her Is Requested box will be filled. To approve the user, simply uncheck the Is Requested box and check the Is Member box. Allowing users to request a group is a setting you must enable for each type of group. You can learn more about that by watching the Managing Group Accounts video on the Manage Group Accounts page. Once you've made your changes, click Save. The last thing we're going to cover is email bounces. If a user's email address is not working and you don't want to receive an email bounce error every time a message bounces back, simply disable their email here. If you want to delete the user entirely, check Drop This User. Or, you can automatically delete all users whose emails are bouncing by clicking Mark for Deletion All Users with Disabled Emails. 
If you have a long list of emails that are bouncing, you can type them all here instead of checking them off individually. We've covered how to manage user accounts on your website. To learn more about managing group accounts, watch the video tutorial on the Group Accounts page.